Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I want to share about different types of demonic attachments. Now, a lot of times we watch programs. We love to watch the bloody, the gory, the the demonic, the witchcraft stuff, the uh, all the demonic powers, the supernatural of the dark side. We like to watch all that stuff, right? It's fascinating, yeah. Well, but see what ends up happening is the anger that is in that movie, the anointing of anger, the anointing of violence. When I say anointing, I don't mean God's anointing. Satan anoints his own. So when you have a demonic anointing, you are opening yourself up to be infiltrated by attitudes, by anger. See, not all anger comes from hurts. Some anger comes from what you've been watching. Demonic attachments. Have you ever opened your front door have you ever opened your front door and a fly comes coming in? I mean, you don't have any garbage for the fly to eat, but the fly comes in. Did you invite the fly to come in to have a spot of tea with you? No. But that bad boy flies his little nasty butt in your house, and now you got to fight to get rid of him. Well, that's what you do when you sit and watch Movies loaded with anger and violence and just just uh, insensible killings. I mean, it just makes no sense. So when you're watching that, you're opening the door. And even though you may not want the anger, the anger is going to fly on in. Even though you don't want the volatile temper, the volatile temper is going to fly on in. When your kids act up and these gory thoughts come to your mind, bash them upside the wall, knock them on their can, give them a bloody nose, that'll teach them a lesson. Those thoughts, you have opened the door for the flies to special deliver them. So spiritual demonic attachments not only come from wounds of the past, but they come from the doors you deliberately open out of curiosity. You like watching things like The Exorcist, Poltergeists, Ghostbusters, fun, titillating, enticing, uh, what, Harry Potter, whatever, all of that mess. And you're intrigued by it. Then you let your kids watch cartoons with demonic little creatures. <laughs> and they're, they're gross. I mean, you're talking grotesque. They are ugly beyond repair. Ugly beyond comparison. You're looking. You're taking this in, 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 in. And, and you don't realize you are being programmed by the anointing. Your spirit is being shaped by the powers of darkness. Because it looks like innocent fun. It's on TV. Hmm. whole lot of crap is on TV. That doesn't mean you're supposed to watch it. Flies are in the world. That doesn't mean you're supposed to invite them in for dinner. So when you want to get rid of these demonic attachments, because I'm just dealing with the problem, you open the door, you get the can of raid, you get the fly swatter. You battle with that bad boy till he's gone or dead. In the spirit realm, 
you battle with that anger. You battle with that volatile that volatile temper. You 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 battle with the uh the, the the violent thoughts that come to your mind. You battle with that. And the way you do battle is I no longer agree with these nasty thoughts and feelings. I rebuke the violence that's in my head and in my heart. I rebuke it and cast it out of me in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of anger in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I denounce any association through entertainment, through gaming, whatever, I denounce it, renounce it, whatever word you want to use. It no longer has part or parcel with me, and I no longer have part of it. I rebuke it. I have no interest. Get out of my life. Get out of my house. Get out of me. And never return in the name of Jesus. Lord, here comes the prayer that follows that. Lord, cleanse my spirit. Forgive me for sins. I didn't realize that was harmful. I didn't realize it did damage over time. Clean it out of my spirit, out of my body, my being, my house, my atmosphere. And Lord, bring your glory in the name of Jesus. Fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit. And your love, your peace, your presence. Thank you, Lord. Now, what are you going to do about it? 